Stewart. Hi. I'd like to thank all of you for coming here tonight. I really don't deserve this honor. But I have a bad back. I don't deserve that either. I love this city, and I've loved serving it. I've been in many offices of public service. I've been a prosecutor, a defense lawyer, a teacher, and an administrator. And I believe that law should be used as an instrument of social good. That's why I became a lawyer, and I think I'm a very good lawyer. That's why I find it particularly unnerving that I'm remembered mostly for being a celebrity spouse. <laughs> sure, I love Estelle. Who wouldn't? But I'm a person, too. I'm tired of, be, tired of being treated like an extra in one of her movies or plays. <laughs> so let me tell you, I was born in Brooklyn, uh, the son of Saul and Ruth Simroff. But I was raised mostly, mostly by my grandparents, and they spoke only Yiddish. So until I was age five, I barely spoke any English. You could say I was a, a, you know, spoiled because I was a firstborn son. And you know, my grandpa, in addition to speaking no English, also knew nothing about the Brooklyn Dodgers. Yet, he would take you to Evans Field to watch their games. So I once said to him, Sadie, you don't know anything about baseball. Why do you keep on taking me here? You know what he said to me? He said, because I'm here to support Jackie Robinson. <laughs> See, how could I go wrong? <laughs> Peter, hold it, hold it. OK, this is the nine big shot, big look, say gazen, mazel <laughs> But if you go on at this rate, they'll be gone before you get to junior high school. <laughs> you let us uh, work through the uh, street kid up from Brooklyn stuff. We'll move this thing along. <laughs>
called upon a number of legal heavyweights for advice. I am Constance Baker Motley. In the summer of 1964, Peter worked for Jack Greenberg and me at the NAACP, when he was a law student at Yale. We took Lester Maddox to court to desegregate his Pickard restaurant in Georgia. Maddox had brought Worcestershire sauce from Massachusetts, thereby giving us an interstate conversation. <laughs> Peter was a brilliant young lawyer and intern in the middle of it all. Peter, come back and work for the NAACP. You could make a great difference. Wouldn't you agree, Dean McKay? Yes, Judge Motley, that was historic. But training the minds of law students is where Peter should put his considerable talents. We want him on the faculty at NYU Law School. Excuse me, excuse me. I am head of one of the largest and oldest line firms in New York City, with a well-deserved reputation for being uptight. There is no substitute for the challenges of big cases. And when I say big cases, I mean big money. That's where Peter's future lies. So many, many choices. <laughs> Discrimination of the poor non whites. Do right, do right. Take action that will ignite. Make use of your legal might. Do right, do right. Give your career some steam. Come out to academe. Ivory Tower living is a dream. Teach law. Who cares that your class is bored? Your tenure will be assured. Teach law, teach law. For a career long term, just join a white shoe firm. We'll show you how to make the dollars churn. Big firm, big firm. You'll always have no to burn. Just think of what you could earn. Big fur, big fur. Concern for others' rights, ensure for civil rights. To work that always makes your heart take flight. Do right, do right. Take action that will ignite. Make yourself to be the right. Do right, do right. Teaching the students' law will be its own reward. work 